the flooring we're putting in. So it's Allure Stain Master Vinyl Flooring. It's plank flooring. So you put down each strip. One strip sticks to the other. Actually, they both stick to each other. So you have on the back side, you have this um, edge here sticks to this edge. Just I'll, sh I'll put down a piece. It goes down pretty good. Um, the floor doesn't even have to be clean because it floats on top of the old floor. I was going to remove all these tiles, but when I did, it gave me a seam because of the other vinyl on the floor. So I it, yeah, probably wouldn't have been noticeable, but going over the top isn't noticeable either, and it keeps the floor all even. Uh, I I had used I put a cut piece in when I was installing it. I accidentally installed the cut piece and I had to remove it because it didn't have the the place where the adhesive goes. And that was an act of Congress trying to get that apart. So once it's together, it's definitely stuck together. So the pattern that I'm using right now, I have to stagger. I'm trying to stagger evenly so I'll you don't want your seams to line up, but every third seam lines up. Then you have to remember when you're cutting that you're cutting on the back side. And you have to remember what edge you're doing and whatnot. So, so I need to cut this edge here. And I'm going to make this one foot. My planks are three feet long. I needed three different lengths. So I just went with one foot, two foot, and then a full piece is three foot. Made it, made it easy that way. So you don't have to push down hard. And once you score it a couple of times like that, you can come back over it and a decent razor blade will follow your score mark then you gently fold it in half and here it snap I cut and then I fold toward the grain um, if you you can come back this way and it will snap but on the couple pieces I did that I did have some chips and when I cut it with a knife, it doesn't chip. Now the flooring is inexpensive as far as flooring goes. Ends up being less than $2 a square foot. The floor that you're putting it down on top of doesn't have to even be clean because this flooring is actually a, a floating flooring. Say that five times fast. It doesn't adhere to the floor beneath it, which is great because if you're floor is old and dirty and in bad shape, your new floor is going to be great right on top of it. Uh, in fact, the first several pieces I put down, I had to be careful when I was pushing them together because the floor was moving. You leave a quarter of an inch gap around all the edges, so it'll have room for the floor to move underneath it. And that's it. It's installed. They recommend you use a 100-pound roller. Uh, I don't have a 100-pound roller. My fridge is right here. Goes right here. So I have high spot in the old tile. I'm just going to cut it out and leave it. You'll never see it anyways. Another part that they recommend you do is work out of three or four boxes at the same time. So what I did, this, the, um, the boxes are randomly packed. So I just took and opened up four boxes and then I just grabbed one plank out of each box until they're all empty and if I see 
a pattern where they look like they're starting to line up, then I just grab one out of a different box. I will say, this stuff is exceptionally sticky on the adhesion part. And it's exceptionally slick. Installed. Supposed to be waterproof, which I can see why. They did a real good job. None of the seams overlap. So this the board seam is here. The sticky adhesive seam is here. So those don't overlap on the end. They don't overlap anywhere. So they did a really good job with, with all that. I'd put this down. I've put all this down by myself in maybe three or four hours. So it goes down really easy. Do try to keep this strip, these strips clean. So I swept the floor. I actually washed the dining room floor really well before I opened up the box and started installing it and realized I didn't have to. So the rest of it I just swept so there's no dirt track underneath to poke up through the flooring. It's about an eighth of an inch thick the entire uh, panel, maybe just a little bit, a little bit thicker. So after all our hard work, and this is actually almost a year after install, actually it's over a year after install, so it's still in pretty good shape. It has light marring, which you probably can't even see in the video, but it's pretty typical for a floor, uh, vinyl floor. We really like the look of it, and it's held up really well. Very slippery with socks on. That's it, that's our floor.